Because imagine if he's like shooting skulls and I'm- oh, No! I got petrified! No, 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 no! How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our expert modded archer let's play. And we are straight into a boss battle today, guys. We are taking on the hive mind that we fought at the end of our last episode. And if you guys remember, it kind of completely crushed me. No, no, no! <laughs> but I am happy to have another go here. What we've done is I've made an arena above the ground uh, because that was part of the problem uh, in the last battle. I had nowhere to move. Uh, and this boss seems to need quite a bit of maneuverability, so that's cool. Uh, it also spawns these little star things, I think they're called Dank something, uh, and it's pretty much invulnerable while they're out, so we do need to get rid of those so I can attack the boss properly. So that's not too bad, but it does have quite a few attacks, oh my goodness. And while I was building the arena, oh wow, that, that we got a good hit in there. Well, oh no, I'm cursed! I'm cursed! No! I can't grapple! Oh no! Oh my goodness! Oh! Okay, there we go, beautiful. And <laughs> a green slime banner, that's really gonna help. Oh, so while I was making the arena, I got lots of resources for this battle anyway. I got some lenses for archery potions, more fallen stars for, um... Ah, uh, Jester arrows, throwing on a heal, guys, I'm getting hurt. Um, and all that good stuff, so that wasn't too bad. So I need to take out those little star things. Alright, there we go, beautiful. Now, I should be able to hit it again. Alright, we've almost got it. Oh, this hexing debuff is the worst. Alright, there we go. I think we've almost got it. Yes, okay, come on. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. No, no, it's a party animal. No, don't you throw confetti at me, you crazy boss. I say no to you. Oh, no. Alright, there we go. We've got to get over it. No, no confetti. Oh, goodness. Alright, it's still... No, 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 no. Oh, good. I, th I threw on a mining potion. What is that going to do? Oh, okay, let's run down here. Oh, hopefully this kills it this time. Come on, just keep moving. No! Ah, no! All right, here we go. Here we go. Have we got a potion? Yes! Yes! I think we did it! Whoa, 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 whoa. We beat it! No, I can't move. Oh, what are these? Oh, what is a dark heart? Uh, let's get them. Oh, no, don't die now. Oh. Whew. Okay. That was cool. Wow, these Calamity bosses are the best. They are so fun. Oh my goodness. And they're still adding more of them. It's amazing. And I threw on a mining potion. Oh, big thanks as always, guys, for the support in our Aaron series as well. Oh, I got the helmet as well. Almost two and a half thousand likes in our last Aaron episode. That is just amazing. Now, I don't know about you guys. I'm excited to see what's in this treasure bag. So let's open it up. You ready? Three, two, one, boom! <gasps> Look at all this stuff! A true shadow scale. Okay, I'm gonna do some crafting with that. Lazy perfect dark. Uh, okay, alright, well I might... Look, I know I'm not a, um, a sword character, but let's just try it out quickly. Oh, it like shoots like little globs of stuff. That's pretty cool. Whoa, that's awesome! And arcane rotten brain. Increase attack stats and decrease movement speed. What? I don't want to go slow, I want to go fast! We'll try it, but... Generally, move speed is my favorite thing to do, so... Oh, look at that! Oh my goodness! Shade Thrower. That's pretty cool. Does it use ammo? Oh yeah, it's using something. I don't know what, though. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Alright, guys. It's time for the next step of our adventure. We are underneath the corruption, and we are looking for this new ore. Ooh, Lava Charm. Nice. We're looking for this new ore. I found a tiny bit already. It's called Aerialite. Um, and it appears sort of, you know, cavern, underground layer, sort of in between the two of those. Um, and I thought, well, let's go for a look for a bit of that. Also, if we're going to fight Skeletron soon, we're going to need... Oh, Mining Potion, very nice. Uh, we're going to need to get some more life anyway. And I think upgrading our armor is probably a good idea. So the Aerialite armor looks like a speedy sort of, you know, uh, fast attack damage sort of thing. So I'm like, for an archer, that sounds pretty sweet indeed. So let's go for a little minecart ride here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, there's no explosive, so it should be fine. Yeah, beautiful. Let's throw some bombs down. We will definitely pick up a little bit of gold ore. And when I say a little bit, there's like tons of it. And I think I just blew up a bat. Now, I don't have to get every tiny piece of ore. So, you know, we'll just get as much as we can as we're going past. They look like diamonds, so we will pick those up. Uh, because, I'm oh no, they're sapphires, okay. Well, it's all good still. It's all good. And here we go. Whoa! Whoa, 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 Oh, life crystal, yay. Okay, we'll take that. Oh my goodness, heart reach, yes. That is so awesome. 
That'll be so good for Wall of Flesh, guys. Oh my goodness. Yay. Okay, we'll get that. <gasps> Another life. Oh, 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 I love this. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's bomb through to that. Oh, no, don't fall all the way down. No, I'm throwing more bombs. Oh no, Gracie would be so happy. <laughs> let's make our way in here. Let's use these and remind me not to push my B button. <gasps> Jellyfish statue, because I'll accidentally use the heart reach potion. And that will make me sad. We don't want to do that. No, no, I'm cursed. I'm cursed. No, where am I? I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, oh goodness. No. Okay, I'm out of here. Oh, no. Oh, skeletons. Yay. Okay, we'll take you out, buddy. Oh, goodness. Okay, yep, here we go. Bomb statue for happy. Nice. I think we need to load up Mr. Piggy quickly. Okay, let's get this treasure chest. Oh, some Hermes boots. That's kind of nice. <gasps> did I upgrade? Yes, I did upgrade my Spectre boots. Lovely. Okay, let's get out of here. And let's do a little bit more exploring. No, 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 Bolden, no, 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 Bolden, no, 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 Oh, thankfully, there was like a little gully for it to fall into. So I didn't get completely killed. And I think I see some Thorium over there. And I've most likely missed some Thorium already. And some of you are already like, happy, happy, you're missing all the Thorium. What are you doing? Oh, spider, no, no. Do I have sticky bombs? I think I might have put them in the pig, but that's okay. One and two. No, no, don't get caught on the cobwebs. No, no. Oh, oh. See, guys, smooth, smooth mining practices with happy. <laughs> So, uh, what you doing up there, Dryad? How on earth did you get up there, you crazy thing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> but we are going to craft some of the new uh, bars now, people. The Aerialite bars. And I actually did a bit of preparation in advance. I looked at the Calamity page, and you needed all this extra stuff to make it. So I'm like, I'll just go and grab it. Save time. So you can actually craft Sky Mills, uh, which is the crafting station for a lot of this new stuff, um, just with 20 sunplate blocks. But as you can see, guys, here's all this new stuff. There's like pickaxes, there's armor, yo-yos, bow, spear, sword. Oh, it's got everything, guys. So let's make a bunch of this new stuff. And I like how they're using like blocks as the crafting recipes too. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so this armor set looks like it's a bit of like magic. It's also damage and movement speed. And the set bonus, you go faster as your health decreases, which is awesome. Uh, let's also make the bow, uh, which, okay, we didn't get a modifier. That's cool, but I'm sure it will be useful, especially once we uh, get a new modifier on it. Let's make a pickaxe. Uh, that looks pretty useful, and that'll be faster for exploring. Harpy Ring, increased movement speed. I think I saw wings, but I need... Uh, what do I need, actually? Where's the guy gone? All right, he's just there. Beautiful. Uh, I think you can make wings. I just want to check uh, how you actually do that. Yep, Skyline Wings. Okay, I need five Fallen Stars. I've only got two. Uh, we will get those, um, but maybe not right this second. So let's also craft. Sorry, bunny. Sorry, slime. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, let's make a harpy ring. Yeah, let's just make lots of stuff. It's a material. Let's make a ham axe. Let's upgrade our axe. Beautiful. So, yeah, we've got all this new stuff. I just want to check what this ring does, too. That looks pretty sweet. So it makes you go faster. <gasps> yeah, extreme speed. Oh, what's this cinder stuff? Okay, we need that. 20 bars. Goodness. <laughs> all right, we've got new armor guys I want to fight a boss maybe it's Skeletron time let's do this people Watch out, old man! No! He shot me in the head! You crazy thing! Oh my goodness! Oh, gosh! Oh, so it is Skeletron time, people, but there are zombies for days around here! Oh my gosh! And I'm actually going to fight this boss without buffs on, except for the Shine Potion. Oh, and I might cancel the Well-Fed, too. Uh, just because archers are very, very strong around this stage of the game, and I do want this fight to be a bit of a challenge. And I just noticed Skeletron's got a tiny hand. <laughs> um, so the reason for, yeah, not having the buffs on is basically I'll regen a lot slower. 
and that means I just have to be really careful not to get hit at all. Um, and as you can see, we're doing like so much damage to the hand, so I do want this to be a relatively tough fight still. Um, and you know, that's, that's a good thing you can do in Terraria. You can sort of self-limit um, to make, you know, boss fights harder when they normally wouldn't be. So, oh goodness, okay, okay. All right, beautiful. Got out of that one, nice. All right, out of the way, beautiful. Okay, we're doing okay, we're doing okay. Ah, so as always, guys, trying to get those hands down at the same time, but because there's a small one, it is a bit harder to hit. Um, so I'm gonna have to just try my best to try and shoot it. Um, because imagine if he's like shooting skulls and I'm, oh, no, I got petrified. No, 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 no. I'm not going to use buff potions because I want a challenge and I get instantly killed. Um, that's always a fun thing, isn't it, people? Oh my goodness. Now, is this a normal one? You got normal hands that are not going to petrify me. Okay, vampiric. That's okay. I think I can manage that. Oh, let's skip ahead a bit to where I was up to last time we fought him. Okay, so we've done a bit of damage to the hands and I'm taking a bit of damage in return. Uh oh, he's about to, he's about to swing. No, no, no. No, 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 Okay, I think we're all right. Just got to Cthulhu dash past him. Yeah, beautiful. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> so it's kind of ironic. I'm like, yeah, I want a challenge, and then I, like, got instantly killed. But, um, yeah, it is. it does make the fight a lot tougher because, as you can see, I'm barely regenerating health here, um, and that means I do have to be super careful not to get hit. And it does, you know, it just gives that edge to the fight where if I had, like, full regen right now, yeah, I, I'd probably not be too concerned about this boss, but... Yeah, the second stage where he's shooting the skulls is now going to be really, really tricky because those skulls deal a ton of damage um, and I just will not regenerate that health. So, yeah, so actually I better focus. It's hard with an auto-fire weapon, uh, but I need to focus on the other hand because it's still got a fair bit of health left to it. So, yeah. Gee, could you imagine Skeletron? Okay, the head might have hexing and the hands have petri petrifying. That would be such a tough boss. Actually, I would like to see modifiers for enemies in normal Terraria. Could you imagine, like, super bosses with, like, all these really unfair debuffs? That would be just awesome. I would love that. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, so we've almost got the hands down. He's about to start shooting the skulls. All right, there we go. Arrgh. Yep, okay, got one. Beautiful. Oh, did I kill both hands at almost the same time? All right, that's fine. I'm fine with that. Okay, I'm kind of interested. I almost want to get hit by a skull. Oh, no! That, where did that hand go? Oh my god, where was the hand? It like went to the ocean. Oh, maybe it went to get some bass, who knows. <laughs> okay, uh, we got it anyway. Oh man, those hands do a lot of damage. Goodness, okay. I do have a potion charge though, so we might be alright. How am I off for frostburn arrows? Okay, I'm running a bit low, but we might be okay. Hurr, just gotta get underneath him. Alright, so Mage Bane. Oh, I think that just uh, takes your mana away, so not really an issue for us, thankfully. There we go, beautiful. So if I can dodge these skulls, we might be alright. Ooh, yeah, I think we're okay. Uh, the Cloud in a Bottle and the Rocket Boots is helping a, a immense, immensely. <laughs> oh, goodness, yeah, I think we might be okay now. We just need to keep dodging those skulls. I might speed the fight up a little bit. I just realized too, he's got the pyrophobic, um, pyro, pyro. Um, I think he might be, uh, take damage from fire arrows, but unfortunately I've got frost arrows, so yeah, not much I can do about that. Oh, goodness, actually, this fight, I, I thought I was pretty much safe, but yeah, I'm not out of the woods yet. The, he's doing a lot of damage. I do have a potion charge ready. Oh no, we're good, we're good. We're good people. Oh, okay. That was tougher without all the buffs. I'm glad I didn't use them. That would have made things a little bit easy. So, I didn't get a mask. Maybe they drop out of the bag, perhaps? I hope so, fingers crossed. Because it's hard to farm Skeletron, so... Yeah, but we'll see how we go. Anyway, are you ready for treasure, guys? Three, two, one, boom! No, I didn't get the mask! Oh, no! But we did get the uh, skeleton hand. That's actually a really nice look. I like that. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, just the arrows. I want to save them if I can. Beautiful. All right, guys. Let's plan our next move. Yeah, it's time for some dungeon, people. Let's make our way down into the crazy. And I'm kind of excited about exploring the dungeon, too, because we can actually get lots of stuff 
for an archer character down here. So we can get the always useful... Oh, hunter potion. That's kind of nice. Uh, we can get the super useful uh, necro armor. A bewitching table. Kind of cool. Especially because Aaron may use summons at some stage during the adventure. So that might be fun. Might just get rid of the map there. Whoa, slime. You are blocking the way, you gelatinous cube. Out of the way. That's it. Take the arrow fury. My goodness. Actually, Talonburst might be a bit better for that. Wow. Like, Talonburst doesn't do as much damage now, but it is super quick for mobs like that. So that's kind of nice. Uh, yeah, we can get the Necro Armor. We can get the High Tide. Oh, it's a little dark caster. <laughs> we can get the High Tide, which is used to make one of those awesome super bows. Um, so I'm excited to check those out. Um, and just a lot of other cool stuff too. Oh, Cobalt Shield. Cobalt Shield. It's like my one of my favorite items. Oh, Knockback is the worst. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, also, quick uh, thank you guys. Oh, my gosh. This, this spiky ball chain is killing me. Oh, yay. We got a gold key right then. And a shadow key. Yes. A quick thank you to all, everyone for your awesome suggestions for our next series. I was looking through them earlier today, and you guys are coming up with the best ideas, some dual class ideas. A lot of people asking for a straight Calamity playthrough, and I'm like, yeah, that would be pretty cool because I'm not using all the new armor and weapons. Like, I'm using some of the armor, but not all, and all these cool weapons, so that might be fun, but we'll put it in the voting and see what happens. <gasps> high Tide. No, I just called the bow the High Tide. What's the bow called? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> oh, goodness. But guys, looking at the time there, we might start wrapping that up there for today, so smash that like button if you are enjoying our Aaron series and don't forget oh there's the bow the strip the steam the stream sting oh goodness high tide what am I talking about 10 damage oh but does it do anything special no I think our other bows are better but we do need it anyway <laughs> yeah keep your tips and tricks coming in the comments below guys but here's the most important part as always you will stay happy and I'll see you soon this is happy day signing out see ya